lateral drop to lateral bound to box, okay? So for this, this drill, it's, it's very important that anytime you're doing something with any sort of rotational component or moving like a, doing a lateral bound, the, the rotational aspect of it's gonna be very important. So as I drop and load in this exercise, in this drill, I wanna think, like I'm gonna be, this is my right side, so I'm gonna load my right side and I'm gonna bound up onto this box. Now as I go into my load on my right side, I wanna think of my knee staying just inside my foot, my left side of my torso, my chest, I'm rotating towards the inside aspect of my knee. So notice like when I, when I go hit the ground, this doesn't keep going out and I don't keep traveling along with it. I'm using that knee position to stop my momentum and then redirect me up onto the box. Do not want to have knee over the foot or knee going outside of the foot because if we're trying to get back going into the left, to, to the left in the opposite direction, we want shin ankles, we want knee position that are going to translate in that opposite direction. So we want to be already going in that direction. Okay. So because the further, the more I'm over my foot or outside of my foot, the more I'm going to go this way, and then it's going to take me longer to get up on the box. If we're trying to do stuff, I mean that's the whole purpose of doing all this stuff in the weight room to have it transfer to the basketball court. We're not trying to be weight room superstars, okay? So we want to make sure that we're really efficient, really mindful of this stuff when we're doing it so that we can have that carry over to the basketball court. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on my left foot, okay? I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do my lateral drop. And that was pretty slow. I could feel myself ro rotate over, uh, over my hip, outside of my hip. So I'm going to do that one again. So I'm going to start here. And that one felt a lot faster, okay? I did a good job of not allowing myself to, to go knee over the foot or torso over my hip and, and fall outside that box. So you can also think of it like that. So if I'm on two feet, I've got this angle here, knees inside the feet, I've got this box going out of my shoulders and my knees, right? I don't want anything falling outside of that box, okay? So if I, if I do, I'm gonna end up slower, I'm gonna get beat, whether I'm on defense, I'm not gonna make my move as quickly as I'm on offense, and that's not a good way to, to, to get minutes and, and get better.